SF, and we gotta talk about this again, man. Um, we gotta talk about the DLC in Mortal Kombat 1. I know some of y'all have probably seen people talk about this a little bit. Um, some of y'all probably have no idea what this DLC release schedule looks like. But even more than that, it's just even more indication that WB has no idea what they're doing. And again, um, Netherrow has done some incompetent things with Mortal Kombat with it. But all of this type of stuff is Warner Bros. It's WB. So we shouldn't at WB with this one. And if, if it seems like a retread in the same fucking... We're, we're fucking retracing our steps we're in a loop we live in a simulation like it's the same shit over and over that's because it is so a little more context this time but it's the same thing bro and it's just it's funny but it's sad and it's annoying it's almost if you if you think about it enough it's frustrating because this is like a product that a lot of us are invested in for many reasons right because if, for some people hey just because you bought it you put money into it for some people, hey, because you like it. For some people, it's like, hey, I do content. I want to make money off of this. can affect my livelihood. For some people, it's like, I want to compete in this. It can affect me making money or making a name for myself. So there are a bunch of reasons to be this invested. If people wonder, oh, why do you care so much about the little things like this? There are a ton of reasons that are valid reasons to be very invested and to be upset and annoyed by shit like this. But anyway, enough of the early ranting. What I'm talking about is the DLC. And obviously, they just put out a trailer for Omni-Man, the second Omni-Man trailer for Mind You. And both Omni-Man trailers featured him and Trimmer, right? Trimmer being the cameo character. And as we know, we're getting six DLC characters, five cameo characters. And before this trailer dropped yesterday, right? November 2nd, I believe. Um, then they announced uh, Omni-Man's coming out November 9th, a week later. Now, we have nothing. We had nothing up to that point. No idea when he was dropping. All we had to do was go off leaks. And it turns out the date is a couple of days after the leak date, right? Um, then, just because... It's funny because when you have to do shit like this, you know you fucked up somewhere. So, Warner Brothers put out a press release. That's the wrong thing. Warner Brothers put out a press release, right? And this press release is just in case people were uh, confused and not sure. What is in the combat pack? What's included in the combat? Right, um, they updated this six hours ago, but they put this out about maybe ten hours after the trailer because they, you know, were sloppy and they put out the trailer and said November 9th and everybody's like, oh bet we get Omni Man Trimmer November 9th. This lit, all right, that's that's coming up. Uh, we'll be cool if we got a character breakdown or a combat cast, but they didn't announce that. But hey, at least the character's coming out mad soon. So it tells you what's in the combat pack, right? Um, John Claude Van Damme's game for Johnny Cage, six new playable characters, Omni Man. They mentioned obviously let you know the Invincible and he's voiced by JK Simmons. He will be joining the roster on uh, November 9th. And if you have the combat back, and if you don't, November 16th, we got Quan Chi, Peacemaker from DC Comics, Ermac, Homelander from The Boys. And they mentioned that <laughs> they got to make sure that he's coming out spring 2024. That's when Homelander's coming out. They don't mention when none of these other characters are coming out <laughs> but they make sure to mention when when homeland is coming out and five new cameo characters trimmer movado johnny cage fair chameleon trimmer will be available as part of the combat pack and standalone for purchase november 20th <laughs> so the the first cameo in the combat pack that they've all both times they've shown Omni Man, they've shown him with trimmer with trimmer only they haven't they haven't showed him with any other cameos or anything like that and when you do that and then put a date out and say this is the first DLC character, it heavily gives off the impression that these two characters are releasing together. It, like, you're, you're not saying it. So they could be like, oh, we never said Trevor was coming out with Omni-Man. Nah, you just heavily implied it. And then you put out this bullshit little press release. And don't mention in the trailer. And the trailer doesn't say Omni-Man this day, Trevor this day, and shit just says November 9th. Right? So nobody got, nobody understood that. So they had to put out this little bullshit press release. And now it's like, oh yeah, by the way, Trimmer is 11 days after Omni Man. So hold that. <laughs> the other funny thing is that the cameo here says Johnny Cage. And when the game was first announced, they said we were getting a Johnny Cage cameo. And then they sent out a press release to the content creators that they, to media, to press, to media. And that includes some content creators, like the ones that get flued out and shit that said Janet Cage. So they changed it from Johnny Cage to Janet Cage. And now it says Johnny Cage again. This was put out yesterday. It was updated today. So they re they looked at this again and updated it. So it's not Janet Cage. It's Johnny Cage. They're flip-flopping on what they're doing. 
And then the, the other thing I was talking about earlier was um, Omni Man, you know, obviously Invincible, voiced by J.K. Simmons, the dates, and then Homelander Spring 2024 for the boys. I have a huge issue with this because I already know this shit is a cash grab. Guest characters are a cash grab. Guest characters in Mortal Kombat and RS games are the reason they exist is because they're cash grabs. That's it. Now, the idea came from fans saying, hey, this character would be cool in Mortal Kombat. So, like, we kind of brought this upon ourselves, but the whole point of them is just to try to, like, get extra sales, extra money. That's it. There is no integrity with guest characters. There is no... And it's just... It's not necessarily that that's a problem because something, like I said, something can be a cash grab and be cool. Freddy, Freddy Krueger on paper was cool. Jason Voorhees on paper was cool. Alien and Predator were cool. Like, so I don't hate the idea of guest characters. I think they're doing way too many of them. Um, but like, like I said, even in this game, I don't think Omni-Man's a bad choice for a guest character. I think Omni-Man is a great choice for a Mortal Kombat character. I don't want him, Peacemaker, and Homelander, but that's, I already talked about that. My issue with this is the only character that has a date next to him or a, a window next to him is Homelander. And we know the release windows for these characters, if you're paying attention. This is the release order. It's Omni-Man, then Quan Chi, then Peacemaker, then Ermac, then Homelander, then Takeda. That's the order. Quan Chi is going to release late, like either December or January. Peacemaker is going to be like February or January. Ermac going to be March. Right? So we know about, we know roughly. But the fact that they go out of their way to remind you, hey, Homeland is coming out in this time. Just so you remember, because he's anticipated to be one of the most popular characters, if not the most popular, him and Omni-Man, which is why Omni-Man is first, you know what I mean? And they wanted to spread them out so they didn't seem like the same character twice in a row type shit. But they know a lot of people are excited about him, but like, they didn't even like, try to hide it. You didn't even, you didn't even try to like, mask it up, nothing. You just went straight out and said, hey, just to remind you guys, Homeland. And it's just like so egregious, bro. And at this point, like I said, you're a company, you're a business. Your bottom line is you want to get paid. Cool, that's great. But all the DLC practices with this game have just been so fucking tone deaf. And it's just like, uh, it's it's almost disgusting. Like I feel kind of nasty. Like I, I don't regret buying the game because I do content, right? But if I wasn't a content creator, I wouldn't have bought this shit or I would have returned it. I would have got my money back. Like, I don't feel good supporting Warner Bros. or supporting this game. I really, really don't. And I get it. Mortal Kombat needed to succeed because Warner Brothers really needs a hit right now. Everything else is bombing. Gotham Knights bombed. That Suicide Squad shit getting pushed back. Like, they don't really have the All the DC movies are bombing. They don't really have shit looking that good. And I know their investors are probably breathing down their necks and shit. And if you don't think that that's the truth remember when this game got first announced it got leaked and it was in an investor call and it was him saying don't worry we're gonna make a bunch of money this year because Mortal Kombat's coming out we got Mortal Kombat 12 coming out that shit is gonna make us hella bread so we're gonna get some return on your investment so like money is the motivator money is what's driving all this shit and it's what's driving all these poor decisions and the problem with this is when you're this money hungry and this short-sighted you lose sight of how you got here in the first place. Mortal Kombat didn't become a billion dollar IP because motherfuckers was money hungry. It became a billion dollar IP because it was unique, it was interesting, it was creative, you know what I mean? It was different, it was interesting, and it appealed to an audience, and it seemed to respect the audience. And now this is just, they don't respect the audience anymore. Whether it's because of Netherrealm, whether it's because of uh, Warner Brothers, whatever, it just feels like there's no respect left for the audience. And that's what the biggest issue I have with the DLC, all these DLC practices, everything they got going on. My biggest beef is you're just disrespecting the fan base who are the reason that you're in this situation. And if you keep doing that, you're going to lose the faith of that fan base. Your sales are going to start going down. The narratives are going to start going out. And I'm 100%. I normally don't push narratives. I'm a truth peddler. I said this when I was streaming last night. I'm a truth peddler. I promote truth. I promote honesty. I promote what's real. But when the truth is a narrative of your company, that WB is a shit company, I'm going to be the first one pushing that narrative. And I'm, I want everybody to jump on board and say, yo, we got it. Warner Brothers needs to be stopped. Let's stop supporting them. Fuck them. We're not going for it. But anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Tremors coming out 11 days after Omni-Man. I think that's goofy as hell, especially. Like, it would have been one thing if they showed Omni-Man with multiple different cameos and shit like that and blah, blah, blah. But like... It literally just says available 
starting November 9th. Now, it doesn't say trimmer on this screenshot right here, but bruh, every time you show an Omni-Man, you show them with trimmer, so it heavily implies it. And like, come on, bro, there's no way you don't know that. The motherfuckers who made the trailer had to know that. The motherfuckers who approved it had to know that. Like, there's no way all of you were that tone deaf. You're, you're just like slapping your audience in the face. And I'm part of the audience, so I feel a way about it. Anyway. That's all I got to say for y'all today, man. I'm sorry if I rant. I don't be trying to rant, but like, when you care about shit, you like kind of passionate about something. Sometimes you just talk, and it just is what it is. <sighs> I hope this game gets better. I don't think it will. Um, we'll see how it looks when Omni Man comes out. We'll, ch we'll check out Trimmer, but after that, there's no guarantees with this shit. This game might be dead in the water. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Y'all stay safe. JSF, I'm out. Peace.